Hello everybody, welcome to my Katya Beauty Style channel and today I'm gonna show you how to use this beautiful eyeshadow palette from Richard Queen. Look at this beautiful, perfect, perfect summer spring colors. Yes, he's designer, he creates this beautiful, beautiful packaging, beautiful eyeshadow palette. He actually have like whole big collection. We have right now at Nordstrom, I already made one video where I show you all this collection. But today I'm just gonna show you how to use this beautiful eyeshadow palette. And in the meantime, I will also will show you new new foundation from uh, um, oh my god my brain to brain don't work in weight waste one atelier okay let's start like we always start with good skincare routine for my eye cream I'm gonna use La Mer eye cream for this uh, this is for lines for wrinkles, for dark circles, but most important, it's a very safe eye cream if you have a very sensitive and allergic skin. Then I'm gonna use this cream, Vanny Cream Daily Facial. Uh, I bought this in Target, I believe $16. I will link below, but this one, it's your fragrance-free, uh, paraben-free, gluten-free, not comedogenic, not gonna plug your pore and this is it's the best so far moisturizer from outside Nordstrom for me to use if it's we'll say what moisturizer do I use in um, if from Nordstrom it's gonna be a uh, bar moisturizer from Christian Dior for face and body because it's very safe too it's good if you have allergic skin okay skincare first this moisturizer it's very light it's more feels like a lotion and if you don't have eye cream it's fine to use this moisturizer on your eye And now I'm going to use primer from Clarin 02. This is your illuminating blurry primer. It's have a little bit color. It's going to even my skin. And you can see it's have a little bit color. And now let's use foundation. Today I'm going to use foundation. It's brand Wasteman Atelier. It's $68, but this is its clean formula foundation. Look at this like case. <laughs> it's kind of really, really actually heavy. And this foundation and concealer together, it's for medium to full coverage. I personally absolutely hate it hate it when I apply just like this on my skin. Why? Because it looks like it sits on all my lines and wrinkles. Today I actually gonna apply on my hand and then with Beauty Blender I will apply on my face. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna like or not. Color I do like, coverage I like it, but when I apply like usually foundation stick on my entire face, I just don't like how it sits on my skin. I feel it show on my pores, 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 like I don't even have much them. But again, I do like coverage and I do like color and I like it's a concealer and foundation together. And let me just apply on my hand and then with Beauty Blender go on my face. This is what I'm gonna do. If you not yet know, originally I am from Ukraine. And right now it's a war in my country and I apply for visa U for you. It's specifically visa for Ukrainian to come to United States for two years. So far, foundation looks very, very natural. And you know what? I'm gonna try again. I will apply it like this and right away go with my beauty blender. Let's see. 
yeah it works it works okay so far i do like this foundation let's put a little bit put here a little bit put here is my concealer finish my concealer now i'm gonna use translucent powder from laura mercier very very quickly very quickly i'm gonna go with my beauty under my eyes again absorbing extra extra concealer and i'm gonna put put uh, powder again on this eye i can see it's already concealer a little bit creasing i'm gonna use a little brush i'm gonna first blend this and then very clever wig i'm gonna apply my loose powder from laura mercier and now a little bit this loose powder i'm gonna put where is corner of my nose let's make a little bit bake today for my bronze i'm gonna use chanel bronze uh, and it's a cream bronze number uh, 390 solaire 10 bronze also i will put a little bit bronze right here I look way more better. Now I'm gonna set my foundation with this beautiful hourglass palette, Radiance Light, and I'm just gonna mix all this color together. I'm just gonna press, press, press. Now I'm gonna slightly remove this powder. You see, guys, I'm talking to you. I'm feeling better. I'm looking a little bit better. This lighter color, let's put this my highlighter right here. I'm gonna use a blush from North Deep Throat. It's very pretty. This is the blush and I'm gonna put right here. Now I have a small tiny brush. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier powder and I apply it pretty heavy on a brush and I'm just gonna apply very little on my nose. I'm gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. Let's fill eyebrows and I'm gonna apply eyeshadow primer and then I'm gonna use this beautiful Richard Queen eyeshadow. It's very, very beautiful. And I have already video where I swatch this uh, eyeshadow and I actually have whole collection uh, from, uh, from Richard Queen. And now I'm gonna use MAC eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow primer on the entire of my eyelid. I have an entire of my eyelid eyeshadow primer from MAC. And now I'm gonna use my dollar store eye pencil. It's best of best pencil. It's like a white pinky undertone and I'm gonna apply underneath. Yes, I got this pen at one a dollar store. Now I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil color chocolate and I'm gonna fill my eyebrows. Eyebrows done and you can see how pretty this white pencil and now we're gonna use this beautiful eyeshadow palette. I think it's so beautiful color, so unique. It's I like brown and orange and gold, but this is, it's so pretty. It is very springy and these colors will keep you very young and fresh. I'm going to use my favorite double end brush from Chanel number no. 200. Okay, I have a big blending brush. We're going to use this beautiful purple color and I'm going to apply on my low lid. And here it's a nice, beautiful mural. And you can see I apply on my low lid and slightly little bit pushing up. 
Now one more time, I apply this beautiful purple color right here and right here. We're leaving little space between these two colors. We're gonna apply lighter color on top. This light color I apply close to my brows, but you can see kind of like more in the center, I apply in heavy, and then I just very, very soft this. Again, only two colors. If you don't want to use anything else, you can just use mascara and you're good to go. Now I have a big brush and I do have a little bit purple eyeshadow here and I'm just going to blend these uh, two colors together. Now I'm going to just remove this white powder from my nose. It's enough to bake there. I'm going to use now my finger and we're going to use this color a little bit more intense on center of my eyelid. Now I have my favorite brush from North Small Tiny Blending Brush and I'm going to use a white color. One more time I'm going to apply it right here very center of my eyes, a little bit more white. It's going to give me nice beautiful pop and extra lift. Now I'm going to apply a little bit on this eye. And then we have a very, very beautiful, like a shimmer, a purple shimmer color here. I'm gonna use same brush and I'm gonna apply a little bit, little bit right here on the corner. Now I'm gonna use matte purple color from Christian Dior. It's waterproof eyeliner, 24-hour variant, and it's number 176 matte purple. I'm gonna apply underneath, but just like a halfway, not go away, all the way. My eye just half underneath. Now I have again my beautiful North blending brush and I'm gonna use this beautiful like a soft great color. I'm gonna use underneath and I will push eyeshadow up and then we're gonna use in the corner a little bit in the crease and a little bit probably liner mascara we all set. Keep a start underneath, I find very little, we go up. Now, I like to just to put my brush straight and then all what I do just applying this gray color. A little bit close to my lashes and let's push product up. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. It's kind of important if you want your eye look more open, more lifted. Now I have a paper towel and I'm gonna little bit shade my pencil. I want really, really like pointy end. And I'm gonna use this as my eyeliner very, very close to my lashes. And now I'm gonna use Lancome primer. It's one of my favorite for lashes, will make my lashes very full and long. And today I'm gonna use Chanel Le Volume Mascara. This is the most volume mascara I know. For my lips, I'm gonna use beautiful, beautiful lip liner from Christian Dior Premier. I believe it's nine, uh, sorry, zero six zero or zero nine zero. But again, it's color premiere and lipstick we're gonna use from Estee Lauder Candy. I make a little bit mess with mascara on my eyelid, but I don't worry about it. I'm gonna let dry mascara and then I'm just gonna clean it. But again, let's put color candy. Wow, what a beautiful hot uh, lip color. And let's put a little bit lip plumper on my lips from Dior. Oh, it is beautiful. 
okay guys if you like this look please comment below please support me i really really need your help and i will see you in my next video